I got started um, with acting. I, I don't know really where it first came from, but I, it's all I ever remember wanting to do as a child. I think just watching kind of children's films and things, I just used to think, I want to do that, I want to be on there. Um, because none of my family are in the business at all. So, and then I just kind of got involved with drama groups at school from a really young age. And then when I, was, when I went to secondary school, I got involved with a group called Rounders, which um, was um, involved with the theatre in the Round in Scarborough, which is I grew up in Whitby, but um, it was a kind of youth drama group in conjunction with the theatre in the Round in Scarborough. So I started to go to uh, Rounders kind of out, of out of school lessons. And then I heard about the stage newspaper from there. So I used to get the stage newspaper and um, see if there was any free audition, open auditions in there, which I obviously wasn't really suitable for. But, um, and, but in the stage newspaper, they had adverts for um, stage schools. And I thought, oh, wow, that's what I want to do. I want, I want to go to stage school. So when I was about 11, I got this bee in my bonnet about going to stage school and approached my parents with it and they were like, um, no, I don't think that's a very good idea actually. But they kind of humoured me and just said, oh well, if you want to, if that's what you want to do, then you know, you should find out about it. And thinking I'd lose interest, they they just said, um, you know, I should I should strive forward and, and see what all the gather all the information that I could and then they'd they'd think about it. So I was like, okay, so I got all these prospectuses and um, decided that I wanted to go to this particular stage school. And so I said to my parents, right, this is where I want to go. And they were like, okay. Um, so then it, it kind of snowballed from there, really. I, I applied to go for an audition. So they were like, okay, well, let's go for the audition and see how you go. And then I got in. And then it was, um, it was a, a case of how, how do I get there? So I auditioned for a grant as well. Because um, I was only 12 at the time, so there weren't grants in place for people my age. So um, they, my local council kind of made a grant for me, actually. So I had to audition for that. And then, um, so that covered the school fees and my parents had to cover the boarding fees. So it, it kind of just snowballed and, and I, I think my parents all along thought at some point she's going to lose interest now and at some point she's going to bottle out. But, but I didn't and I went and, um, and it was brilliant. I just loved it. I ended up going when I was 13, nearly 14 because it took about a year and a half for everything to come together. And, um, and there was an agency with the school. So I did an episode of The Bill before I left the school. Um, and um, and that got me my first job after leaving school when I was 16 and then my first job got me my agent and then the rest is kind of history I suppose so yeah the first thing that springs to mind there's probably loads and loads of shows that have influenced me and, and I'm a big fan of but um, the first thing that springs to mind was is Band of Gold I remember watching that when I was probably about 11 probably at that stage where I was kind of really thinking this is what I want to do with my life kind of thing and I remember seeing Samantha Morton in that and just thinking wow she was the most amazing actress I'd ever seen and just thought uh, you know her performance was so real and um, and probably just be, only just being allowed to watch things like that as well made it all the more exciting so um, yeah, that definitely influenced me because I thought, yeah, that's I want to do that. But yeah, and later years, probably Sex in the City, but that's all for a different reason. That's all to do with shoes. <laughs> just to persevere, really. And if you really want to do it, then then just keep going with it, because um, you do get knockbacks all the time, you know. But you get you get highs and you get lows, um, and that's the thing. I always think that people. That end up being hopefully have a certain certain level of success of the, just the people that haven't given up. Um, so just yeah, just keep going really.